This is Daily Dose of Daryl, I for Improving. Each one of us can develop a particular viewpoint where we can identify ways of improving. Even at the fire department, you look at holes, you test for holes in the old one, you look at the age of the hole, and then sometimes you have to purchase new ones, and you have to get them prepared for use. The whole process is to uh, have an improved situation for response. Recently, I was trying to find just a couple of two by fours. The local stores had a vacuum of lumber uh, because of the pandemic and shipping, etc. But you see, they're restocking now this huge shortage of lumber, and the trucks are on the road again, ready for improvement. Also, we must identify places that really need improving. If you run into a situation like this and you go one way, and then you turn around and you go back the other way, and no matter which way you go, all you see would be cars for miles, you have identified a place that needs improving and some helpful changes. Perhaps you just have in the refrigerator some eggs or chicken or pickles or cashews or cheese or mayo, and on its own, they're just stuff. But when you start putting them together with an eye to combining them, you can improve them to something very, very special. And you know, even in nature, we see the marks of improving just as the sun goes down. The sunset grows more lovely each moment. Even the Creator has set up this ordered creation with all the different uh, scientific parts of it, with the light and the humidity, etc., that as it changes and goes down, it just grows and grows and improves and improves in an amazing manner. I had some leftovers. I think it was a fast food chili. I won't name the name of the restaurant. I had leftover potatoes. There's all kinds of little things that I had. And so, with an eye for improving those, rather than just pulling them out and eating them, how about putting them together and, and blending them up and heating them and melting them, and then not stopping there, but finding a nice plate or even a nice place mat. And you know, even for desserts, you can just throw them in a bowl and eat them. That's one thing. Or you can start looking at how to present them and where it is pleasing. So whatever area of life improvements can be made. We we'll need to identify places that need improvement in our lives, and we need to gather resources to do that. We also need to utilize what we already have. Don't overlook that. And prepare each thing for use. Lying on a shelf is no good. Realize it's an ongoing process. And realize you can do it. Commit to the long road and keep it going. This is Daily Dose of Daryl called I for Improving. There are many examples all around us that show an eye for improving. We need to develop an eye for improving in our own life. I am Daryl R. Peebles, and I'm an ordained minister trained in art and the fire service. I have retired from the local pastorate after 47 years to expand my ministry to others. I'm now producing digitally recorded presentations made just for you. Call me at 336-516-3793. Send an email to darylpeebles at gmail.com or go to the website darylpeebles.com. Let us go to box 953 in Graham. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Click like so more people can see it. Come back each day for something fresh and new. But now have a great day. Make it a great day. It's the only one you have. And remember, develop an eye for improving in your life and keep it going throughout your entire journey. And I know God will bless you. Be filled with the power available to you now. Don't overlook it. It's a powerful living. God bless you. Thank you.